history bows. I do apologise. I'm starting this on the loo, but I am nearly finished, and I will be washing my hands. Don't worry. Um, I just want to tell you about the plans I got um for the foreseeable. Because I can change. Any day they could change. But at the minute, my plans are start from today. Pardon me. <coughs> so, start from today. I am going to um, finish washing my hands. Then, you should wash your hands after every toilet. Oh man, I forgot about a towel in this room. I'll be back in a second. I'll show you what someone has to do if they don't leave their effing skin alone. Just thinking, thinking out loud. Sorry about the beeping. That's because my heating's on. The fire alarm does that. Oh, there they are. I've been doing this on and off for my whole life. Because it's part of who I am. I self-harm. So this is what I've got to do on a daily basis now until I heal. And then, once I've probably healed, I'll probably hurt myself again. It's a... It's a circuit for me. A horrible, horrible circuit. So, I'm trying... to stop myself from making them worse. By, plus, by washing them every day. And... I think it's getting there. I remember one time I hurt myself really badly once. I might call this self harming and not safe for children because this is not safe for children. I remember one time I'd fallen out with someone. I'm not going into detail who, um, but yeah, I'd fallen out with someone, and I self-harmed really badly. One of the times I did it really badly. But when I got home, after what I had done, this is why it's not safe for children, is I, I shouldn't, I don't know if I should be, this is definitely not safe for children. I scraped my knuckles on some walls that's near my house. And when I did that, I hurt myself really badly. Luckily, somebody I knew was coming over to my house. So, um, so when I got in, I told this person where to go to pick up the things I need. Because luckily, or all luckily, it depends how you see it, um, I do stock up 
um, plasters and creams for the sake, basically. So it depends how you look at it. You might see it as good she's prepared or good she's prepared she's going to do it again. Depends how you look at it. Um, so when this person cleaned my hand, because of my right hand and it was really bad, I told this person to, um, basically this person grabbed the cream, plasters, cloth, some water, they had to do a couple of trips, they had to do a couple of trips, I'll say he, because I've said it now, I had to do a couple of trips, and the last thing I told him to bring is a second cloth, because I know what was going to happen, I knew what was going to happen, because like I say, I have a history of this. He um, gave me the cloth, one of the cloths, should we say, and after he gave me the cloth, he, he, I told him what to do before I did what I did. He said, what you're going to do, don't be scared, upset, angry, worried, anxious, anything. Because you, my hair sounds coming from me. Don't stop whatever you do. First, I want you to grab the second cloth and put it in the water, rinse off the excess, and wipe my hands. Well, my hand, where I'd hurt myself, which was mostly. When I did it, it was mostly my fingers that hurt. My knuckles not so much. It was my hands. It was my fingers. So I said, before you do it, I'm going to put this in my mouth, which was the cloth he had given me, because I will want to scream. Because you could see the dirt and the grime, mostly the blood from my knuckles. And so I put the I put the cloth in. He's he only did it for like a minute, if that. And he didn't like it. Because he heard me going well, he heard me screaming into the cloth. But I said to him, so I was shaking now. That's what happens when you clean. You need to shake sometimes. It's because you're in so much pain and you're not crying or anything. You shake. And you're in so much pain. So he wanted to stop. I was like, no, I need you to carry on. You're really helping me out. Cause I took, when I said this, obviously the cough was out my mouth. He's like, okay. I says, okay. If it helps, count down if it helps. Like three, two, one, and do it as quickly as you can if that will help you. Because it won't help me. Because I want him to take his time with that so then I know all the dirt and grime is off, off my fingers. And he, he did that. We cleaned it. Then we had a mini breather. When he put the cloth in the water back in the kitchen, I dealt with that after this. And it gave me time to get ready for the next bit of shaking. And I put my hand on his leg. So I knew this was going to hurt a lot. He, put the, he took some cream. And put it on the bits he could get to, which was the fingers. He couldn't really... He did put it on the knuckles as well, but mostly the fingers. 
and um, and then skim the difficult bit because it was half note curl but mostly finger he didn't know where to put the plasters so I said to him just do the fingers I'll deal with the knuckles by air healing the knuckles because even I struggled with the knuckles um, even I struggled with the knuckles Big ones up. I think I'll stick with the small ones for now. Um, so I'm just deciding which ones to go for. Um, so he prepared himself, and put the plasters on the best he could. Luckily. Later that day, I think it was, or the next day, probably the next day, I redid it. Because when it's that badly hurt, you will have to clean it every day and cream it every day. If not cream it, then clean it at least every single day and then back clean plasters on so they have time to heal so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the old plasters off I'm cleaning it with water because that's what's in there it's water and I'm putting clean plasters on these three I did because COVID got a bit too much for me and one minute I could go to my mum's the next minute I couldn't go to my mum's it all came too much and I know that was one, that was <laughs> a month ago nearly but it's a healing process it takes a long time for me because I get itchy in the night that's why I've started a new technique where I put, I put gloves on now. That stops me from scratching at night. Because I think I'm itchy because I'm healing. That's why I'm itchy is because I'm healing. Because my leg is itchy right now, and that's only because I've changed the plasters. I have to use lots of little plasters um, for these because um, I don't actually have any big plasters, which I'm going to be buying tomorrow because I go shopping once a week with my mum. It's the only time I get to actually touch my mum now is when I go shopping with her. Which is upsetting. Because we, before lockdown, so about a month ago, we did have a plan before where I was going to stay over for a week. But because lockdown started again, I stayed home this is my home I didn't want what happened in the first lockdown to happen again because in the first lockdown I, s I went to my mum's for visit because it's Mother's Day and then lockdown happened and I was at her for three weeks and then when I got back I had to have my outreach at my door for two day for two weeks so I didn't really want to go back to that so like see my spot at the door so instead, I um, I decided to stay home. So I see, I actually get to touch my mom once a week. So at least it's once a week. That's the way I'm looking at it. At least it's once a week and not um, 
once a month or once two weeks. At least it's once a week. I do get jealous sometimes of people that still live with their mum or dad. Basically with someone. Right now. Right now, because of the pandemic, I'm jealous of them. Because I do see my support every day. But I don't get to touch them. I talk, we do housework, but I don't get to. I don't get to touch them. One minute. This is gonna hurt. One minute. This is the one that actually hurt. See, I'm definitely going to call this self-harming because, and it's not going to be safe for children, so they'll probably have no comments for this video because it's not, this is not safe. So I don't want kids, I don't want kids to know about self-harming, but I'm not the only one who does this. I know plenty of people that do, and I bet you anything. It's the reason since pa the pandemic started. I bet you. That the number of people that self-harm has risen. Because I know the suicide has risen. So I bet you anything that people that have self-harmed has risen as well. Because sometimes they just have to get the frustration, the anger out, and they don't know how to do it apart from hurting yourself. I... Sometimes self harm in a different way as well. Because watching my ex's videos, that's self harming. Because it's mentally harming me. It's not physically, it's mentally harming. So I would. The thing is, <laughs> I wonder what he's saying about me. Because I know that he's not, apart from this latest video. So I'm glad I watched his latest video because he's lying about me yet again. Because I did a video called Pl Busy, Busy and Plans and he did a video called Plans for this year and next year. Coincidence? I think not! So yeah, I think he's cutting me. I'm, I've got, I, I have a plan. I get up talking about plans in the bathroom before I get distracted with self harm. Anyway, I do apologise for ranting a lot. My plan. So, tomorrow, I get up at my usual time and relax, watch telly. And I see my support at one, so I'll have one of my shakes. Actually, for, I have one of my shakes first thing, when I have a shake for lunch, I'm trying to anyway, I'm trying my best. It's late at night that I fail with this diet, especially when it's one, no, two weeks till Christmas. Um, I'm going to call this self-harm and diet. So it's half safe, half not safe. Uh, that one. Um, I don't know what to say. So yeah. Shake, shake, outreach. Um, then I get the taxi at half three and I meet my mum and dad's down. Do some shit when my dad's down. Then this week is different. We are, um, I get some recon on Thursday to Iceland. 
where I had a look at their party food. And so, for Boxing Day, we're going um, for party food Boxing Day. So, we're going to buy the party food tomorrow to start our mum's freezer. Because um, I showed her so much variety, because I've noticed that, unfortunately, sorry Asda, but Iceland have got better selection on party food than Iceland. Iceland's got better selection. I think it's because Iceland specialises in frozen food, whereas Asda is a bit of everything. They've got clothes, they've got fridge, they've got frozen. It's not just one thing they have. They've got everything. So they can't really specialise on one thing like Iceland does. So, this is why well, I did some recon on Thursday. I had to buy some stuff anyway. And mostly plasters. Which I'm going to be buying more tomorrow. But I need the big ones. So you're using loads and loads of small ones. Might even buy some more small ones. Depends what's available. I'd like to just buy big ones. Anyway. So it's Asda, then Iceland, then home. I'm going to ask mum if it's time, because I don't want her to spend too long in Blythe. So if she has time to film me. What was it? You want me to be... What does she want me to film doing it? I've done the bagging, I've done... I can't remember. Oh yeah, giving a food parcel. Basically, after I've done my shopping, instead of me getting them out of the car, well, I can get them out of the car to the gate. I want mum to film me, if it's not too dark, um, receiving my food parcel. As if it's got home delivery, but the annoying thing is it's going to be different bags. Um, it's not all going to be as dad bags. Which is fine, really, because people used to get in different bags anyway. It's just so people can... Actually, I'm not going to. I was just saying my mum couldn't do it. It was too dark. It's to do with the play. That I'm working on. That's going to be premiered on the 15th, which is next week. Anyway. Sunday, nothing. Apart from outreach. That's the only plan I've got is Sunday. Um, Monday. I think I'm done. No. Um, I've got one more sesh on Monday. For this year. With the children's TV show. I think it's just chatting this week. Because we, we are not filming this week. This Monday. Because... Um, we don't really want to do another one. We'd rather do the final two next year. So we'll probably just chat and hang out and chill on Monday. Like you do if it's your final week of school. Um, Tuesday, it's going to be different. Um, this week I've got Lisa outreach. Um, and then it's different because I'm not buying any diet products. And I'm not getting wet, so I'm not seeing Kay until next year now. So, um, so that's that. So it's just outreach on Tuesday and then nothing. It's Wednesday, Twist and Ducks for the final week. Um, uh, I don't know what that will entail, just probably just hanging out and chatting and everything. Saying, asking people how they're doing for Christmas, that sort of thing, and if we have to do some last minute filming, we all do it then. But I don't think that's gonna happen, I think it's just gonna be hanging out. Thursday, I have no plans whatsoever, whatsoever. Um, normally, I before lockdown, it was twisting, it was spectrum on a Thursday, but not anymore. Um, I quit that. After this 
video I'm gonna come off and then come back on again because I've got a story to tell and I think it's gonna be okay for work for children I'll just give a warning that after a certain number because it has two different endings do not watch so half of it will be safe for children half of it won't be safe for children um, so that's the story I'm going to do after this one anyway so like I said I've got no plans Thursday no plans Friday no plans Saturday apart from shopping again um, and then the only other plans I can think of is watching my play I think what's the set uh, I've got Fresh that I'm going to for fresh, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to wear a push-up bra. I'm going to wear makeup. I'm going to wear an outfit that I haven't worn in a long time. Just to show off my assets. Hopefully, show off what people have been missing, really. Um, we've got my play coming up. So we've got that. We've got... The dancing bit, because my, my set of plays is part of two, so we've got the dancing bit as well. In my bit, I'm actually singing, so I've got me singing. Yay. I will film it and post it. Just my play. It's, I, I don't have permission to film anyone else's. But we'll just say my play. Um, what else? I've got Fresh, I've got my play. The dancing, I've got a play. Um, we did have Jasmine Beans, but that had to be pushed back. We did have a second, or he did have a third play, but that had to be pushed back. Um, that's it. I'm going to Ronald's Christmas Eve, and I won't go back home until the first. And then back from the first to the fourth, I've got no outreach whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to prove to myself myself no one else that when i do get my spot back on the fourth i only have what i normally do which is housework and clothes that's it i want to be able to prove to them and myself more than myself that i do need them but not that bad i'm coming off now because i'm rambling on for nearly half an hour yeah self-harm and plans and no it's not safe for children don't forget like comment subscribe and please like rather than negative please